Hello friends, I am Aditya Kansara, your host and friends and you are watching Adi's Viewpoint. Friends, are you interested in buying a mobile under 15k and Moto G5 Plus is your option, then you must surely check out this video. Because we will be doing the unboxing and review of this mobile. So without wasting any further ado, let's begin. So friends, this is the box of Moto G5 Plus. So this is the Lenovo branding over here and uh, Moto G5 Plus been written and its symbol with his bird. And on the right side we also get a Moto G5 Plus again branding with the wings of that bird. And uh, our wallpaper is also been covered like this. On the top we have nice pattern of yellow-ish type and at the bottom some paperwork is done and behind two variants are been shown one is in grey and one is in gold variant I have in gold one and few specifications about it are been provided so without wasting any further ado let's unbox this mobile so opening it up we get first of all our mobile Moto G5 Plus I have unwrapped this and again wrap this with the screen guard which came so it is bubbly now the next thing which we will be seeing is the hello moto symbol in go given over here and uh, the accessories are uh, charger adapter and we will be seeing the ratings over here if we can friends oh uh, if you can see the rating is being provided and it's turbo output uh, 1 and 2 is been given and normal one one is uh, 16 1.6 ampere and uh, other is 0 0.5 and one is 1.2 ampere 5 volt 9 volt and 12 volt so three these three types of outputs are been supported by this charger a normal one a 9 volt and a 12 volt so our mobile charge will be on uh, 9 volt uh, 12 volt so it's quite a bit good and a motor branding over here and a full plastic wrap is been given I have not yet removed it and uh, it's detachable so it's quite a bit nice because in older mobiles uh, of Motorola the cable was attached with it so this is our cable I have already been used it so we'll be just getting it out and uh, this is a normal USB cable it's not a type C it's a normal one but I love this one type C is not always that good I think because all are using this one so quite a bit good and uh, the next thing is our earphone we also get this earphone with it in nowadays the mobile which comes like redmi and all they don't cover the earphones within them but uh, we still get these motorola normal earphones it uh, does the work of us so i personally use this and as i'm not spending so much money in other accessories i use them and a few manuals have been provided uh, a safe, safe, smart and protected so this might be our what other types of user manual or safety guide and uh, it's a limited warranty means warranty uh, limitations and uh, the dates are being covered in this when the mobile gets something wrong then it use and uh, this is what is this I don't know this uh, yes, it's a SAR, SAR ratings paper. So head and body SAR value are 0 0.36376 for head and for body 1.45. So for body it's quite a bit in limit but uh, more than the normal mobile and head is very less. So it's uh, quite a bit good and uh, another manual there are four manual men and this is our just how to replace the battery and anything are been provided over here so you can see over here you can pause the video and watch what are the parts being covered over here and I will be showing it now you don't need to and this is the sim tray which is being supported there is a two sim card and behind we can also put a memory card so it's a dual sim as well as uh, supports uh, micro SD card so not a hybrid solution I like it and the cute sim ejector too I like it nice to see that and nothing inside the box 
so this is our mobile and uh, first of all I will show you how to remove this many people doesn't know how to remove this they just scratch over here and try to remove it so you can see as of uh, here a cutting is in giver so we have to just push it and the white paper comes up see you can see and we have to put uh, take it up and then peel it off so it was a new thing you might have learned and uh, now I will be rebooting it and uh, many people want would like to see how the Motorola gets on so I will be showing it let me zoom in now watch it's tell that Motorola powered by Android it normally comes in all the mobile friends so it seems to quite a bit good series and yes man Lenovo again came up over here <laughs> but I like Lenovo's too because they always try to get new things like Dolby sounds and they are now telling about taking our 4k resolution now I have already used and uh, installed many apps over here so let me open it up so this is the user interface you will get and the wallpaper behind is just like the box you know that see this both both the wallpapers have been same wallpaper on the box as well as on the mobile so this is the normal user interface you will get inside the mobile now let's talk about the specifications of the mobile so this bad boy is powered by a snapdragon 625 chipset with the octa core processor you get a 12 megapixel red camera with the f1.7 aperture and a 5 megapixel front facing camera with f2.2 aperture it has a 3000 mAh battery with a turbo charger packed inside the box the mobile supports 5.2 inch full hd display with a corning goella glass 3 protection and it runs android nugget out of the box now let's take the overview of this mobile so at the bottom of the headset you get a 3.5 mm audio jack a microphone beside it and a charging port at the center of the headset on the right side of the mobile you get a power button and a volume locker above it both have sleek plastic finish the frame of this smartie has a plastic finish for transfer of signals also at the top of this mobile you get a sim tray which supports two sim card and one sd card at the same time but on the left side of the headset you get nothing just a plastic frame glossy finish now coming up to the front top side you get a 5 megapixel camera followed by a speaker grill and a proximity sensor with a motorola symbol at the center also the speaker which is provided here does the superb job of both all receiving as well as audio playback no other speaker been provided beside this at the front bottom section of the mobile you get a fingerprint sensor and no touch capacitive buttons been provided here now coming up to the back side of this mobile you get a 12 megapixel rear camera which has a dual flash with dual autofocus technology and a noise cancellation mic above it and below the camera you get a motor symbol which is now not having a dimple over it at the bottom a made in india tag is been provided which just means assembled in india back of this bad boy is having a full glossy metal finish which captures no fingerprint over it also our rear camera got a hump about 1 to 2 mm in thickness which gives an awesome premium look to this mobile further moving towards the sim tray we can plug 2 nano sim on one side as shown and 1 micro sd card up to 128 gb on the other side now let's take a close up towards the accessories which we got inside the box so these are the in earpiece with a controller which has a tiny motor symbol over it and it's 3.5 mm audio jack our sim ejector too but a nice look with motor branding over it and these are the normal cables covered inside the box with a turbocharger so 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and all your doubts have been clear. If yes, then surely hit that like button and share this video to your friend. If you are new to my channel, then consider subscribing and hit that bell icon too. Because I will be coming up with my more awesome videos on homemade things and unboxing every week. So thanks for watching and catch you in my next video. Till then, stay fit, stay healthy. I am Aditya signing off. And this was an unboxing and overview of Moto G5 Plus.